In the rich tapestry of spiritual discourse, few figures are as enigmatic and profoundly impactful as Siddhartha Gautama, known universally as the Buddha. His teachings, rooted in deep wisdom and compassion, continue to inspire millions across the globe. The Buddha's life and philosophy present a radical departure from traditional divine concepts, emphasizing instead the power of personal responsibility and the pursuit of enlightenment through one's own efforts. Let's reflect on his teachings through the following narrative. A Brahmin by the name of Dana once came upon the distinctive footprints of the Buddha and approached him with inquiries. Your reverence will be a diva. No, indeed, Brahmin, I am not a diva, the Buddha responded. Then your reverence will be a Gandhaba. No, indeed, Brahmin, I am not a Gandhaba. A Yaka, then? No, indeed, Brahmin, I am not a Yaka. Then your reverence will be a human being. No, indeed, Brahmin, I am not a human being. Who then, pray, will your reverence be? The Buddha explained that he had eradicated the impurities that lead to rebirth as a diva, Gandhaba, Yaka, or human, and added, As a lotus, fair and lovely, by the water is not soiled, by the world am I not soiled, therefore, Brahman, am I Buddha. The Buddha does not claim to be a manifestation of the Hindu god Vishnu who is celebrated in the Bhagavad Gita as being reborn periodically to defend the just, eliminate the wicked, and re-establish the Dharma, righteousness. The Buddha taught that while there are numerous gods, devas, they, like other beings, are subject to birth and death. There is no supreme deity governing human fates or possessing divine power to reincarnate at will in human form. Nor does the Buddha proclaim himself a savior who unilaterally grants salvation to others. He urges his followers to rely on their efforts for liberation as both corruption and purity originate within oneself. One cannot directly cleanse or corrupt another. In defining his relationship with his disciples and underscoring the significance of independence and personal effort, the Buddha clearly states, You yourselves should make an exertion. The Tathagatas are only teachers. The Buddha simply shows the way and method by which he freed himself from suffering and death and attained his ultimate goal. His devoted followers must themselves embark on this path if they seek liberation from life's hardships. To depend on others for salvation is negative, but to depend on oneself is positive. Relying on others equates to relinquishing one's initiative. Be you isles unto yourselves. Be you a refuge unto yourselves. Seek no refuge in others. These profound words, spoken by the Buddha in his final days, powerfully emphasize the crucial role of self-effort in achieving one's goals and how ineffective and transient it is to seek salvation through benevolent saviors or to chase ephemeral happiness in an afterlife by appeasing fictional deities with vain prayers and pointless sacrifices. The Buddha was indeed a mortal man. Born as a human, he lived and died as a Buddha. Despite his human origins, he became an extraordinary figure due to his distinctive enlightened qualities. The Buddha emphasized this essential truth, leaving no doubt that he was not an immortal entity. It has been observed that no religious teacher was ever so godless as the Buddha, yet none was so godlike. During his lifetime, the Buddha was deeply revered by his followers, yet he never claimed any divine status for himself. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Wishing you good health and inner peace every day.